called the landscape of meditation. They give you an idea to everyone can see. See it clearly? Can all see it clearly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, so, uh, you know, we've all got a mind here, we've got a body here, we've got being. This is, this is, this is what we call um, the bottom of the mind, and you have the top of the mind, active, wavy, projecting, now, like right now, waking state, thinking, thinking, background thinking, foreground thinking, awareness, something's going on. No, just here, right now, this. And this is just like the ocean. The ocean is a great analogy for consciousness because we have waking state consciousness, and as we, you know, dive a little bit down underneath here, it starts to get more and more sort of calm and still, less active. And as we get down here to the bottom line, you can see it nice and nice and still and calm. And then we have being, just being. Here and right now. So <clears throat> now I just want to start off by uh, we'll just go to the mind in isolation. Okay, just to start off with. Uh, just to give you a moment. So like I said, it's a landscape of meditation, so it's a representation visually of, of meditation. But we'll get start off with just the mind in isolation. So what we do we have, you know. In the mind is thoughts, right? Thinking right now, what's he about to say? Da, 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 trying to make up stories, and and we do really really good at that. So we're constantly making stories. So so a thought a thought is like a it's an electromagnetic sort of pulse that comes through, created by chemical makeup and so on. It's that sort of pulsing through the system. It starts off as a small little pulse. It comes from beyond the mind. Do you have any idea where thoughts come from? Mm. <laughs> uh, they come from a reservoir beyond the mind. Uh, okay. Sorry, a what? A reservoir beyond the mind. So this being state, pop, they start to come out of nothing. Okay, and then they start off like this. A little pop like this starts off like this, and then as it goes towards the the surface of the mind, it starts to grow. It gets bigger, more dominant, and then we get up to here. It pops up to the surface of the mind, and it becomes quite big. You can see that it dominates our existence. In the, in the waking state, the, the thought has, it can be a stream of thoughts, it can be a stream of thoughts, it can be one thought, but it's thinking as, as it is, it's coming from here, small, growing to the surface, and it's always going this way, this way. Okay, and so, Something happened yesterday, and I, I gave you a mantra. And in fact, in fact, for those who've never meditated before, for the first time in your life, I don't know how old you are right now, I can't remember your ages, but for the first time in your life, you've been possibly given a mantra or a technique by concentrating, and I say that lightly, but it is resting ourselves upon the movement of the breath, and we're allowing ourselves to think. And we've come, set ourselves up and if I was to call meditation anything, it would be called the setup. Because try and explain meditation, it's it's a tricky one. There's a thousand different ways of meditating too, by the way. Different types styles of meditation. Someone might say, oh, I do my meditation playing golf. And I have my meditation when I'm um, what's another one, surfing. I have my meditation uh, when I'm swimming. Uh, that's what I do. I don't need to meditate. So different, very different. Uh, you can't really. You might not have a pool on a daily basis ready for you to go swim and have the meditative experience. Uh, you might, and even then, you're creating effort during it. Uh, golf, yeah, you have to be in the flow to even hit that damn little ball. 
anywhere near down, straight down off their way. So, <laughs> whack fire, boom! And it's all over the place. So, uh, so meditation is um, meant for us to be able to be accessible anywhere, anytime. So we're able to practice it literally on a daily basis, anywhere, anytime. So it's the setup to do this, which is <clears throat> you've been given a, a mantra, and or a practice. We've done the setup. The setup is literally sitting upright. Best to be upright, relax. Uh, we've told everyone else in our life that you know I'm meditating. I'm going to go and meditate. So we know, make sure people don't bother you, and you've got a nice place. You're not going to not going to be interrupted, and a nice quiet place generally. But noise is no barrier to meditation. Because we're going to be actually making a preference for the practice. So we've come along, we've done the setup, set up nice and upright, seated position. We've we've set the timer. If you're going to time the meditation, you don't need to use the timer, but it's a nice thing. You know, we're trying to use doing a busy life, so we sort of set a time timely schedule. We sit upright. Uh, take a couple of breaths, a few breaths, just to allow ourselves to settle, and then close our eyes nice and gently, and we come into just around the surface of the mind, to place the, the mantra or your attention on the movement of the breath. The mantra comes in, and say my mantra is ding dong, or so hum as yours was, I think it's uh, so hum. And we use it with the breath, if you like. So hum. Refining itself as it goes down. Changes in its own nature. It starts to change its shape and view from the mind. Start to sort of notice it. It becomes more charming. You know, every, every one of us is here to be happier, right? We want to be happier. We just well, that's where our whole purpose to get happy. <laughs> but there's something else sort of in the way. So we're, tr we're going for happiness. We're going for what charms us. And the mind becomes more and more charmed by the mantra as you go down. The mind loves to be charmed. It loves to be charmed. It's like music. You've got sort of it's, it's music in this room right now. <laughs> And you've got music going on, and then you hear some better music just in the other party or just around the other room. You kind of, you kind of just want to, you want to go there. So the charm is always there for what is going to make it feel happier. And down it goes, and of course it keeps coming down, refining itself further, changing its nature. And that's okay. And it comes down to here, and something very interesting can happen at this point. <clears throat> it will refine itself just once more, and then it will hit there and it will transcend the mind, meaning go beyond this. You'll go beyond. You'll have an experience of yourself sitting in here, being, sitting in your own being. And so, if there's another word for being, it would be transcendent state. Uh, pure consciousness. Pure consciousness. Have you guys got any other words? felt down here, all felt within this being. Awareness? Always, uh, awareness is bringing us, this is, awareness is here. Uh, to developing. And it, it's developing, it's in his part here to get in that stage. Another one would be bliss, consciousness, bliss. Uh, so the mind loves this spot down here, and it 
loves it and you feel when you come out of meditation you kind of we sort of felt some of it you know where all of a sudden we're out in the meditation it was a bit odd i pretend to be thinking and coming back to earth all of a sudden i come out oh that felt good and we almost didn't realize we were there <laughs> not quite there yet maybe so it's okay bliss consciousness All down below the line here. So <clears throat> now this has gone in this direction. So we've gone this direction for the first time. And maybe a lot of us have never gone that way and been conscious of us doing it. Being actually aware of us where we're going. Oh my god, where we're going, we're going with this thing. Tom's told me to do this. I can't do it. And you know, da, 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 da. The, the, the intellect's trying to trying to pull us out because it wants to make meaning, this guy. And this guy starts to rule our life and we're kind of caught up here. But this is, this itself, by itself, will never happen like that. Why? Anyone got any answers? This, this, this direction, this is always coming up. Okay. Pushing to the surface of the mind. The, 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 the thoughts are coming. The yeah. thoughts are coming from from inside, no? Uh, yeah, behind. And our reservoir beyond the mind, they're coming from beyond the mind. Yeah. So it's a pulsation pulsation that's always happening. And we won't stop it. We won't can, stop can we not stop it uh, at one stage in the middle? No. Like when it's you know when you want to use the thoughts or that's coming. Now why why wouldn't it? Because we don't stop to seats and training to be their points no. we, we just let the thoughts dominate all the time that's happening but we've just done this and it's just gone that way without any interruption why well, wouldn't we do that ever never gonna happen like that because the bubble is always the bubble of thoughts is always pushing the other way no you've already done that you've already gone beyond that you're down here Transcended the mind, happily transcended the mind, and there's a there's something that's on the board, and it's it's in the way of this it's this smooth movement. One, dun, 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 dun. you can't rush it. <laughs> by the way, it'll just do its thing. So this will happen. This will this will never happen. Never. Why? It's on the board. Because the being doesn't exist. No, absolutely exists. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Sure. <coughs> this, is, this is pure conscious being. <laughs> you are a human being. <laughs> what are you You are a here? human being. You are here now. At the bottom of everything, we are a human being. Cell, trillions, trillion, trillion, crazy trillion of cells in the body, and and each one has 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 been a uh, has had imprinted into it experiences through our life, even beyond that too. I'm not a past life ex expert at all, but I know that I've had parents and I've had grandparents, and they've had their grandparents and their da 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 and we've been affected by genetic code, coding and so on and so on and so on and whatever else they were doing and all those other experiences that came along through them are sitting within our system as well. So, as at right now you can just go, oh, that's I'm talking about, I mean, really, I mean, we have to go back there, but really what we're doing is we're actually Ignoring something which is in the body. It's always here, the memory. So memories of the past are sitting within the system. 
and they they represent themselves as stress, tension, and fatigue. Okay, stress, tension, and fatigue sitting in the system, and this would be stress, tension, and fatigue lying within the system that's been around for about you know just this morning. This would be within the last week. This stuff down here is a build-up of stress, tension, and fatigue uh, within the system that we know about. It's called Sanskara in Sanskrit language, where this beautiful technique comes from in order to lift it out of the system in an effortless way. This stuff is sanskara, the English word scar comes from. And the scarring within the system can be traumas from the past, which really that's what they are, some sort of trauma. In this realm here, it's stuff that we know about. <clears throat> stuff that we've kind of like stuck down, we sort of just, we we'll put that off, or we kind of know about it, but we just don't have time to deal with it. So we tend to, because we're so good at bringing stress on, on a daily basis, we try to, we'll actually bring it on, and I'll deal with it. And depending on how we've dealt with this stuff, we will actually deal with it in the same way. We'll just push it down. I can deal with it, 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 until it's, you're so full, and the littlest thing, that won't even mean anything to, it doesn't make any sense, but it's an overload of information, overload of experience, it could be like your child doing something little, and you just go, boom, right? Well, I have that experience. So, uh, stress, this is what we are, we, we harbour stress. It's a very, very common thing for us humans. And so we've got this stuff hanging in the system. This is stuff that we know about. And it could be addictions. It could be, uh, you know, fam familial information from the family, uh, religion, cultural, whatever it is. And then we've got this, this load down here is what we don't know about. This is the stuff that I was talking about just a moment ago which is all, all uh, what they call secret because we just don't know it's stuff way back in the past. It can also be all of those things, cultural, religious, uh, but a lot of DNA, entanglement, behavioural, powerful um, experiences, non-processed through the system, held on to. Loss of life, loss particularly, and um, things that were just too much for us in the past. So if that, if the body is anything, it is a representation of the past. And what's happening now with that stuff? not here, but it seems to be, in some level, some of us are being run by this stuff that's lodged into the system. So we tend to get kind of pushed along by the inertia of this stuff, this scarring within us. And it's a very, very classic human experience. With this uh, technique though, <coughs> we come along and we give ourselves the opportunity to allow stress, tension, fatigue to start to lift out of the system. In a very, very specific way, uh, and just by setting up to do it, and then placing us off to the side, and allowing this to just come off, come out of the system regularly. Now, now why would we want to do it in a conscious fashion? Does anyone have any ideas about that? Why would I want to do this? and be conscious of it. Because I can just go to sleep. I'll get my sleep patterns up and whatever's 
and I know that you mentioned, Brad, that you only have, you're okay with short hours of sleep, mm -hmm. is that it? Yeah. And so everyone has different needs regarding rest, but depending on our stress levels, we will carry that stress, and say you have 10 points of, you've, you've racked up 10 points of stress during the day, then you have a sleep that's relieved itself of, relieved that, that, that build up, you would maybe wash off six points of stress. So you're carrying another four back into the day, next day. So you start to see, you start to build up a bit of a deficit of yep. stress within the system. You start to carry it. And, and over time, the build up can be quite extraordinary and the nervous system gets shot. That, that's one of the points, like the body starts to fail in a long term. Like, you, just you have an idea, if you lose your one night of sleep, take you three to five days to recovery, or for one whole night of our sleep, okay? And that's scientific proof, okay? So they have the paper, they talk about that, and that's in a long term, you find with that, but in a long term, where we get older past day five, four is, then it's like hormone levels dropping way quicker than normal. And that's why it starts to increase the stress levels and accumulate how Tom sang, because you start to accumulate that. Mm. And then in the long term, that's why it starts to get, create issues on your body. You know? So mental problems, um, heart attack problems. So heart attack today, it's proof it's not just only what you eat. It's is your lifestyle, okay? Even cancer, how the cancer has been developing to your body. Now you develop your own cancer. Now you develop your own heart attack. But that's always coming. Oh, it's accumulated, and there's a bad lifestyle is coming. When we talk about lifestyle, two big things: is sleeping and water. Third one is what you eat. Fourth, you exercise. Fifth, meditation, breathing properly. And then managing your time during the day. So that's all the physiology part, how the body works. How we healing on the skin, cuts, joints, problems. That's like you say, oh, I'm getting old, I'm taking longer to recovery. Yes, but if you don't sleep, in, if you don't drink water, you're being dehydrated, if you normal, if you as you think you are old and taking longer three days, with all this will take ten days, and that's why it starts to get a joint problem, get bursitis, um, acute pain for the long term mm. because you don't let the body heal. You now sometimes you know the words is better. Lie down on the couch. You have a chicken soup. Instead, had panadols and antibiotics. Your body can heal yourself. But it's all about you understand and give the right tools to your body. They can make work. We are human beings. And as a human being, we need to give you these tools to prevent and keep it moving. Thanks, Yeah. And so, <clears throat> you mentioned a good word there, a tool. And this is a tool. Uh, life affirming at all levels. Too. So we've come along, and we've um, <coughs> we've done we've, we've, what is meditation. I mentioned what meditation is in two words before. Do you guys remember what I said? What I called it? Describe meditation as the setup. The setup. Yeah, the setup. It's the setup. That's all it is. It's not a woo 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 woo, -woo thing. It's set up and and we do it in a in an alert calm bring ourselves to alert calm experience of ourselves going to this to enliven that okay so <clears throat> here we go we come in and we're gonna do a little meditation now we're gonna do the setup we've got our backs recorded we're upright uh, we set the timer if you like and <clears throat> and we've come in and we've put the 
you know, we've come in, we've taken a couple of breaths, and we've closed our eyes, and we've come in, we're still on the surface of the mind, and we've placed the, the mantra right here, or our awareness on the breath. And we've placed it there. So when. And even, even as you've done one, <coughs> this, this stuff starts to lift out of the system. Boom, 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 just the last couple of hours. And as that happens, as that happens, it activates the mind. So the mind comes off the mantra, comes off the breath, any sort of a, a tension that you've been able to rest upon the mantra and the, the word sound vibration doesn't mean anything to the mind. It, it's just taking us off like that, going back towards the surface of the mind. Now I gave you guys a tool, another little tool, a little sort of little um, utensil, yeah, for the meditation. We do a little smile. We make it. You can be thinking at the same time, allowing thoughts to happen, just bubbling, 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 still going. Place a smile here. Opening the nervous system, allowing it to sort of flower open. Just resting back in on itself, placing the mantra in. in and then this stuff. Here, off, out of the system, without us having to you know, medicate, without us having to do anything, this stuff wants to lift out of the system because nature, you can see out there, just wants to discard relevancies. It wants to get it out of the system. So it just wants it out. So this is, comes off, the moment again, mind's activated. Again, make a preference for the practice, which is coming to so home, so home, so I'm thinking a little bit starts to fade off because the preference, if we jam ourselves into the, the mantra, you go, oh shit, I forgot the mantra, oh quick mantra, <laughs> the nervous system will just go like this. And we're very, very careful with ourselves at that point. Very, very gentle. It's almost like a thin thread we place in to the system. And we come down. So, so, so yeah. This stuff starts to lift out. This stuff. This stuff is weighty on the system. Weighty on the conscious system of the body. And if I was I was to put anything between the mind and the body, it would be the nervous system. That's it. A bridge between the mind and the body being affected by this stuff. Particularly, you know, the stress, tension, fatigue. Of course, I talked about that being our daily rigor of life in the last week or two, a few hours. Now this stuff, deep within the system, stuff that we didn't, you know, we've just kind of been ruling our life a little bit and over time. Um, Tom, try don't use much the green paint. Okay. I'll try to. Yeah, just try one the orange and the black. Mm. Please. Um, so, yeah, we have a nervous system here. Um, I'll just so as... Tom mentioned that as a nervous system, okay, it's it's one of the big parts of the body, okay. They they are locked, they are located in your cerebrum, so on your head, and from then they send all the signs for whole body, and they are locked where they they make a tunnel through your spine, so they come into the spine and then going all around. It's like an octopus; they come in. Mm -hmm. all around so they connect for each movement we are doing it's in part sensibility and um, move the fingers um, and then you can see sometimes people have like you probably have heard before people had a, like a car accident the body nothing happened there but they got a big knock in the head and they lost the movement from 
the belly button down the bottom is just because there's some areas of the nervous system on the head being damaged or being shaked. Okay, and you shake you can lose the nervous system. You know, sometimes have you heard about you can fuck up the nervous system if you drink too much of it. Okay, because you give too much shock to the body, the nervous system is just reacting it. and really can very tight it up the muscles around or lock your neck and you cannot move and shoulder, you know. Like um, like people talk about frozen shoulder, they cannot move. But sometimes because it was a massive impact over there and it had a big shape close to the cervical there and then they cannot move. But it's stimulating and moving to you can create the movements back. You know? So the system is involved for everything. It's even at part of meditation, how you stimulate the health reacting to your body. So is there <coughs> You know, you had the, the deep scans, so yeah. things that came from yeah. and, uh, great growth from yeah. that. And then you have things that may have happened yesterday yeah. at work. Is there a stage where you get, you know, with a level of practice with meditation? Like, how do you, how do you go deep into the, into eliminating those? The Science, areas? yeah, you'll find that even um, as a, in the beginning part of the meditation, when you're saying, I can't meditate, you can feel it because the system is not accepting uh, the practice because there's so much locked in. So as we allow it to happen, more stuff will be. And it's stuff that it just doesn't make sense, right, mm -hmm. to the intellect, mm -hmm. but it's happening. The body, the body wants to froth, it wants to... You know, you know, we get out and surf, you do shit you love doing, right? You do it. Well, just just there with the movement, when I say yeah. to you guys, yeah. crawling, I can't. Yeah. Crawling. Mm. And, and then the coordination, to but you want to move. And when then you, you start to do it, it yeah, and things start to move and lift out. So. You let the body And there was something else in the question? No, it was just to understand, because yeah. there is no. It's not like a straight sign, so which which one lifts first is there is there the does does have a science that you can find there's a lot of science behind meditation today. Yeah in, in America and Harvey and you can read it and how much mm. the brain change if you feed ten minutes practice. Yeah, Harvard, that Harvard, the Harvard the yeah. Harvard researchers have found that and the American Medical Association have found that ninety percent of disease state is caused by stress mm. on the system, ninety yeah. percent. Yeah. So we're talking about a world right now, which is creating more and more, and trying to hold more and more. Yeah. Because the intellect thinks it can. So we're going beyond the intellect. Mm. This is a practice to go beyond the mind. So we're freeing that space up for our system to become lighter. And if you say to yourself, I don't want to learn it, I don't know what you're doing, if you don't let yeah. your body learning, you're never going to improve. Yeah. And then let your body learn it is just a one, a practice, I see the change. As we spoke yesterday about training, swimming, yeah. and it's all coming in each practice, you have the feeling to see the change, the transmutation. If you don't have the transmutation, you're gonna stuck in your, your little hole for all your life. And instead of you getting out there, you just dig, 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 dip, 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 because you're being smashing your nervous system. And then you don't be improving to improve your longevity, to improve your well-being, to be a good, a good yeah, human being. You know? and, and that's fine. That's when we, I just say it's all the tools we connect to the body to make it us better. It's not only one thing. It's no. not only one thing. It's not just surf to make you happy or yeah, make you happy. But it's all the tools we bring it together. Okay. So this stuff, the land, this stuff, just to lift up, just use this technique, allowing this, and then it just again come off the mantra. And as you can see, this is not a, a nice, flight, nice straightforward dive to be in. 
transcending the mind. This is because the body's in in the literally in the way. But if we try to wipe the body out, which we can do, we can take a shot of heroin, like whew, out. But the heroin disappears after a while. You're going to get more heroin, you know. You, or drugs, you know, that's why we punch the, punch the ceiling with drugs or extreme shit. We just want to feel that stuff, right? We really want that. Uh, we want that moment. We want to sense it. And it's so, it's such as there's nothing. It's funny what, what Tom yeah. said, but that's a big thing why you, people get mm -hmm. very active in the drugs mm -hmm. or in the stimulants. Yeah. You know? And that's what happened because you feel it so good for that minute and then you want to more, you want to more, you yeah. end up the crack, you yeah. end up the cocaine or okay. like some, like in, in any kind of person. And it like can be anything. Anything. It's addictive. Of, it's addictive. It's just about you stimulate that. And then to stimulate, we don't need the drugs. We yeah. can stimulate ourselves. All of a sudden we become caught in an extreme yeah. cycle. Yeah. So I have it a, takes I, us away from this. Okay. So this stuff, loading up in the system, brings us up here constantly. So we put this beautiful practice in place, take a smile, make a preference, subtle preference. And at this point, this stuff starts to move down. In fact, all this stuff sort of flying out too. But this stuff starts to fly out. Now, at this point, also, something very interesting can happen in the meditation. And I suggest meditating twice a day. Um, when I do the Vedic uh, course, and I initiate you into a Vedic course, uh, the Vedic technique, uh, I, I advise 20 minutes twice a day. That's the practice. That's the most optimum practice to allow you to go towards your own natural course of evolution. We're kind of, we're, we're really diving into evolving and evolution really means um, ever increasing sophistication. And so <clears throat> here, if we, if we haven't been, say, meditating regularly, if we haven't been exercising, taking good care of the body, uh, we've, been, we've been pushing, pushing the envelope with ourselves, not such good nutrition, Burning the candle at both ends, you know, getting invaded by people that don't lift our system and you know, lift ourselves, lift our spirit. We kind of get to this point in the practice, and you know, have a win-win situation. You go boom to here, and you get you go beyond the mind. You may fall asleep in meditation because you've just been haven't been getting the normal resting state within the body. So you'll just oh. So it's been a win-win situation because you've made the intention to sit there and meditate so you'll get the, the benefits. But if you haven't, if you've been taking good care of yourself, uh, you know, availing yourself to the knowledge uh, that's already, already, already in here, you already know it, but availing yourself to your own knowledge and also others in inquiring to greater knowledge, about how to lift my system, uh, you know, good nutrition, good, good uh, practices uh, around health and so on. Relationships improving as a, as a result of this practice, 20 minutes twice a day, practicing, practicing, practicing. We come off the mantra, this stuff comes off, we come off the mantra. Boom. Smile. Making a preference. Oh. And you can see as we come down here, we're more in line with the, the thoughts aren't so dominant anymore. They're coming to the more subtle states of the mind. And then the mind, more of this starts to lift out. This stuff. This wants us to be lighter. It wants us to be carrying a lighter load. Making better decisions for ourselves and others. Allowing allowing ourselves to experience coming up again more of this stuff sometimes this stuff can be dislodged and experienced here so say you had someone get whacked in the head or something happens in our 
I don't know if you've ever known about this, but you, you may know, but there's cases where people get knocked their head and all of a sudden a whole other experience that's been locked in the system comes out and the person is going through a trauma that didn't sort of make any sense. And it's just flying out of the system. So it gets a memory, the memory comes out and starts to dominate the, this. So this stuff comes up and needs to be dealt with with a lot of help. You need therapy, uh, therapy and meditation, uh, any kind of you know, psychotherapy with this, very good, because then you have this awareness happening and whatever you're talking about comes along with an adaptive ability in the situation of the therapy that comes in much better or any other kind of therapy. So bringing this out of here sometimes, but ultimately this comes off, we come off the mantra again. Even though we're down in the, in the, in the subtle states of the mind, experiencing maybe little dull thoughts, but maybe the intellect trying, but it's, it's very, very subtle at this point. And then we take it down once more, come off the mantra, and perhaps go down and transcend right towards the end of the meditation. And as you can see, <coughs> that with this guy that we're walking around in, <laughs> this will never happen. <coughs> this straight movement, it's always going to be like this. And like I mentioned, there is no such thing as a good or a bad meditation. That's the intellect trying to make a story about it. <clears throat> so once we keep this practice going, lighten the load on life, and watch what happens to the rest of your life. Um, greater adaptability in situations on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. So stress coming, you know, is, which is basically an unexpected experience, uh, a, a, an expectation not met is stress, which happens all the time. Just, so we're much more able to use an intelligent way to work ourselves through situations, much more aware, and as a result of continuous practice, this is what we call a conscious ceiling up here. It starts to drop. So you can see this thought. When we're caught up here, we're a long, long way from this, which is all life giving, this stuff here. More experience of ourselves toward this state, we start to sort of be reminded more clearly that we're a human being. More of this, you can see what happens, constantly caught in this big thought and the stories that it makes up about us and who I am in the world and who I should be in the world and why those people should be this and that, da da da, and it becomes egoic and it gets a bit crazy at that point. We absolutely as far away from being this and you can see it happening. And it can be on a collective basis, but we don't have to take part in it. <coughs> so, we have this practice in place. We start to lower over time, and it's not like, you know, this is early days for you guys. So be really gentle and uh, with yourselves if you can get some practice going and some inquiry to go a little bit deeper with it. Because the more people meditating at this point, the better. So we have, keep practicing, and if you get two times a day, 20 minutes twice a day, Twice a day, we start to lower the, lower the conscious ceiling and it starts to sort of, our, our waking state is more like this. Down here, a thought can less dominate, closer to this stuff. It starts to drop further over time. We start to, and, not, and I'm not trying to give you a timeline on this, like, like the, we want to be, it's funny, it's like me being an achievement goal oriented person from way back, I wanted to, I wanted to achieve, I wanted to be the best meditator in the world, right? I want to be world champion meditator. 
doesn't work that way. It's again absolutely the opposite. It's so beautiful and life supporting than that movie too. So it doesn't have to be a world champion. In fact, there's no goal here. You just keep doing the practice. Keep working with the practice. We start to lower the conscious ceiling further. Coming toward this state, which is in becoming increasingly more charming to the mind, and actually we're feeling it more and more as a part of our daily waking existence. Less reactive, more responsive, all kinds of things in our life start to improve, but you're kind of going towards where you are, going naturally towards what's charming you. And that could be all kinds of things, bush bashing. Yeah. How charming is that? It's the best. Have a good time, we're giving people, people are benefiting from it, it's freaking awesome. What's bush bashing? <laughs> yeah, so the bride bashing. Yeah, yeah, the bride bashing one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so good. It's like the best, it's like, it's amazing. You get, people get something out, you guys, it's like, it couldn't be better. So, <laughs> we go, as we practice and like I said, uh, there is no goal here. There's, you know, um, there are, it, it's opposite to the world out there, which is goal oriented, which is lovely. You could have some goals in there, but set your goal. But really, the only, this is drawing us back into the present moment where this can be felt. So we become more present in our life. Becoming more present changes things right up. <laughs> so, uh, and over time, mm, lots of meditation, <laughs> giving yourself to the practice, we start to experience what they call cosmic consciousness, which is being the whole gig. We get connected to every, every piece of what's going on in the puzzle here. And and it could be what we call good or bad going on all the time, and it's no longer good or bad at all. It's just what's going on. So we're less affected by the exterior circumstances or the stories of our life. So we're more able to be here for people, more able to be here for our loved ones, and we're feeling this on a constant basis. So I'll leave it at that, but that's the landscape of meditation and that's what's, that's what's on offer. For which, okay, where it? are you in which, in your journey? Oh, After all the meditation you I'd do? Say I'm, I'd say I'm here, so I'm here, because I get caught up in my thoughts still, and I get angry. We, I think it's a human experience, we just have this stuff. You know, the rishis, the, um, the seers, these, the great uh, masters who brought this practice to us over the millennium, like 5,000 years old, this practice, so it's, it's old, it's nothing new, it's a technology that's, it's still relevant today, more relevant now than any other time, maybe, for us humans, and one that we can build into our busy lives, which is unique. But as you can see, um, many different um, religions have a, you know, religion comes out of this sort of stuff. It's a, a human creation. But, <clears throat> you know, if, if we're placing this into our lives, and it's like Rod said, there's so much research you can go and read on that's all independent-based research that's... Um, just lays out the benefits. Particularly, um, Rod talked about the health. The body itself starts to heal better. It, uh, it, it you know, the, the mind itself and the whole body, the whole system starts to settle itself within itself. Uh, and, it's, and it's kind of going away from the mind. So we're coming more and more closer to who we truly are, deep inside. The more the more chance we have of actually treating another person as a human being when we're experiencing this on a regular level, regular um, um, 
in on a regular basis. Whereas if we're caught up in here constantly, this can be troublesome, quite troublesome, particularly on this thing. And then that gets frayed and we get separate from the body and the mind, and I've forgotten about my body and my body just gets smashed because I'm just smashing my body. Oh shit, and then you wake up and you've got a corrective experience in your hand. Wow, because that's what nature will do. It will come along and just go, because we're going away from nature's laws, which uh, like, um, you've got karma and kriya, okay? So karma and this is in, within this culture, but these guys knew about this stuff thousands of years ago. Karma, we think in the West, is like, oh, you've got good karma, or oh, that person's got bad karma, they're gonna do something, if something's gonna happen to you, it's nothing like that. Karma is actually us just going against nature's laws. We just acting on a moment to moment basis, whatever I'm doing right now, it's either gonna, I'm either going against nature, or I'm going on a career, which is going towards and acting in, in line with nature's laws, where things flourish. So you're either going one way or the other. You can see it happening at so many different levels, infinite diversity happening at all times right now. A truth that's so much bigger than us, <laughs> it's a giant. So you can see it happening with the coronavirus. <laughs> Yeah, you know, who the fuck knows what's happening there? <laughs> really? Got all this information coming from left and right and all this. But what's, what's really happening at all times anyway, and you can see it out here, there's beautiful banks here, trees, there's three, times happen three things happening at one time, at, at, at all times in nature, and that's creation, maintenance, and destruction. So, <clears throat> you know, we go in for creation when we're, get creative and this is this builds creative mind builds creative mind allows it to be creative this constantly oh oh I've got a headache I've got oh man I'm just overthinking I'm, I don't know what to do I'm confused I'm like ah oh. I'm sort of and that's kind of going towards disillusion or destruction so maintenance operator is something where we're kind of put a practice in, we are able to maintain ourselves at a certain level, at some point that will be in question <laughs> because you know you try to keep something going for a long time and you kind of get bored, <laughs> you know that boredom thing, and you kind of want to create something new, so you'll even try to break its own symmetry of the maintenance operator will break, be broken at some point by nature itself, within you, it's your nature, all this nature out here. It's one of the same thing. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the creation, maintenance, destruction going on at all times, but we think we can, uh, we're scared of it. We're scared of the change, which is happening at all times. So, <laughs> and we can think the answer is out there. So we try to grab hold of things and lock ourselves into it and hold on for dear life. <laughs> But the only place it's available is here. Always been here, always will be, never changing. And it's within us. So it's accessible and it's experience is there for you. Yeah. Um, Anything that make any sense? Does anyone need any explanation further? It's good, like Tom. Tom mentioned what I spoke before the part. Uh, the body's there and for you is just wake up, have a cup of coffee, go to work. Lunch time eat, back to work, get afternoon, pack everything, go home. We human we think is like that. And okay I get up and go my surf because I like the surf but I eat and that's it. You just live the life on their way, it's kind of like a little answers. You know, they get out of the hole, they know and they go in a determinate place to get some food and come back to the hole. So we act in that way and we forget about what is. 
and get at the point we know as I'm looking, how I'm looking outside, and that's what we think about that so, but we don't know what's going on inside. As I, you have your car, if you put a good petrol, if you put a cheap petrol, you might go and smash your car. No? So the body acts in the same way. If you don't nourish your body with good things to keep it building good cells, energize you, keep your body hydrated, get some a good supplements around you to give you that support and tools, you lose it. You start mm -hmm. to losing, losing, losing. Even like if we talk about depression today, depression coming from a big chemical imbalance in the body and bring the traumas behind as well. Mm -hmm. It's not only trauma, it's how the chemicals go inside you, mm -hmm. how the physiology inside of the body works. If you're not very well balanced, you don't gonna get it that all right. Always you're gonna have that way the ups and downs. And you keep this mesh your body. And then it's only like, okay, I need to look after inside. Okay, but you're going GPs. GP is just talking the same thing. Oh, do blood tests. Is uh, cholesterol, um, blood pressure, um, sometimes liver, and that's it. But what's going on around? How is your gut work to digest the food? You probably eat a lot of food, but might, maybe only like 20% of the food you eat is you digest properly. The other 80% is all getting glue on the wall, okay, or your bowel or around, or you just come in and you just go to the toilet and gone. And the same, oh, you drink a lot of stuff, but I don't know what's the stuff good to, or your body cannot hold that. And you're going to toilet and pee everything outside. So, body have to be working very well inside. It's not as a looking. How I tell a lot of people, look, I tested so many people who have a bit of six pack, but the six pack doesn't work. Because they don't switch on, don't protect the back, don't protect the hip. They're not functioning. And as the same thing as we talk about vitamins, diet, sleeping, breathing, mesh day. So we give that tools inside the body to make the happiness happen. To cure people with depression. To get people out of the traumas. Or even athletes achieve their goals or just a person achieve their own goals on the business. What are they doing? And they're self-motivated. You know, you probably have friends and some, they're not very active. They don't have the energy what you do have. Probably because, yes, their personality, but sometimes behind the personality, what's going on inside that doesn't work very well how they should work. And that's come, coming from from a young age. And that's how you build it. As we see all these kids, they say, well, because the parents don't stop to do the crap food since they are three years old, four years old. These kids eat too much sugar. Well, because you ended up they give you lollies to kids with one year old, two years old. So certain things like we develop inside us. No. And the exercise is saying, well, my body is very mobile, but what's your background? I've been doing gymnastics since he was three years old, you know? So things like that have it to be told and then be organized in that, you know? So like we see great surfers like Tom. Tom starts surfing. How old are you, are, Tom? Seven. Seven. So he developed all this pattern, mm -hmm. body awareness, vision from 40 years of his life of surfing, you know what I mean? But coming from first information when you're young, when you're younger and build up, build me up. Yeah, you don't want to get to 60. <laughs> so, yay! So that, that's a big thing, no? When we come apart, if you want to change you, if you want to get more creative, if you want to get a better person tomorrow, you need to start to get it, drop some seasons every single day to make that change happen. Even to improve your surfing, how's everything you talk about training? If you don't put it in the stuff from going, or a simple tight on the spine, or simple neck pain, knee problems. If you don't put it, these things happen, it's small, simple, never gonna happen. Or change, or get it better. 
like you know some people say oh I get flu normal I get a 10 days to recover flu mm -hmm. I recovered flu in one day no not two days because I know what the supplements was kicking me I know what I need to I'm going to bed early I drink if you drink three liters of water I get up drink five liters of water so I give that support and love to the body to body love this no yeah and then let's talk like I can be wake up I can sleep only three four hours I keep doing the business I've been in that it's yeah. just always we're looking yeah. 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 for out there like if people yeah. think about 10 years yeah. but forget about now and then don't yeah. get these tools into to you be better then you sacrifice things inside you you might get on the point some people after 50s don't even enjoy it because the hip doesn't move because they have a massive belly and say, well, I have diabetes, and then. So it's just, oh yeah, but my pocket's full of money, and then, for what? What is like, sit and drink beer, that's all? Wanna run with your kids, you wanna get a skateboard or ride a bike? No, you don't do it, why? I'm too fatigued, my hips don't matter, my daughter said to me, so don't do it. It's as simple as my time. But it's hard to give the things inside you to recover. As Tom said, we have the skin, and the skin we have the millions and millions of cells. That cell is just a build and energy for one thing. Love, supply, give the right tools for they can rebuild it. This cells die and rebuilding another ones. Just to breathe. We grew the extra cell. If you're doing like the movements we don't do today, we re-energize the whole body. How did you get into meditation? Oh, that, yeah. That's a big story. Maybe I'll tell you tonight. Tonight? Okay. tonight? We'll do the story tonight? Yeah. It's Sunday, Jim. Today's Sunday. Sunday, yeah. yeah it's last night. So. Okay, I'll talk. I'll let you know. It's, it's a long, long story. <laughs> yeah. Well, she does. Yeah, it's a long one. So, uh, so, because Andron and Alex need to go. Yeah. It's like 12 30. Thanks guys for letting me an idea of what this might be. Okay. And uh, like I, I just threw a couple of words down there just to give you an idea of what grows as a result of experiencing this more. Love and our ability to be here now. The only time there ever is and ever will be is now. So love can be, is, is going to grow as a result of touching this regularly, especially in a conscious way. So, um, and you can see, like I said before, uh, if we're constantly here and, and constantly just at this point, this level, this is when this gets shaken, we start to get control mode, controlling, very controlling, and on top of that, like um, Rod talked about depression, depression becomes, it now controls the mind. So this starts to change into chemical makeup but, uh, of the body. So the body kind of goes along with whatever's going up in here. And uh, we can change that um, just by this. This as a, as a basic tool underlying all other good tools you can put in your toolbox of health. Uh, and longevity and moving towards sort of a healthier, kind of more graceful movement <laughs> to, towards aging, maybe. Yeah, well, very good example of it. So. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 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 So try to go for grace. Beautiful.